In early 1945, 20-year-old Galen Kittleson from St. Ansgar was stationed in the Philippines as part of an elite unit called the Alamo Scouts. The Scouts were made up of small, highly trained units that operated behind Japanese battle lines gathering information about enemy forces. Kittleson's unit was selected to carry out reconnaissance on the Cabanatuan prison camp in anticipation of a rescue attempt. The camp was 30 miles behind enemy lines. I was really the first one to see it, but, but it was across an open field, too, because the, the Japanese had those prisoners um, growing stuff out there for the camp. With members of the 6th Ranger Battalion, an attack was planned. And on January 30th, 1945, as the sun went down, the battle began. And when we got to right close to the fence, a gong started going. And we thought, my god, they, they know we're here. But it was sailors in that POWs that had each night they run the eight o'clock, seven o'clock, you know, like they do on ships. I know it was noisy as all heck right when they attacked it, of course, because the Rangers really done a super job. They got that gate open and and those suckers really poured in there. I didn't fire around there. Uh, I didn't have to. My job was to get those prisoners to the river. So I guided them. Sometimes you had to almost grab a hold of them to keep them going in the right direction, but they got there. PFC Kittleson was awarded a bronze star for his participation in the raid. With the help of Filipino citizens, 511 men were rescued and taken to the American lines.